Hey guys and welcome back to a brand new video. Now today's video is a really simple one. I'm just going to be showing you guys a couple of methods on how to go ahead and import Photoshop actions into Photoshop. Um, I've decided to make this video because I will get a few requests. I have got a few requests of people asking me how they do this because we do sell these on our website. Um, we do have a couple of actions. So um, to save them some time, what I've done is I'm just going to create a video for you guys and I can refer you over to this video um, if you are having any problems. Okay, so we're going to just jump straight in with this. Um, it shouldn't take very long to do this, but um, what we're going to do is we're going to start with the first and the easy method. Okay, so the first method is really quite simple um, and should work for most uh, laptops, but it does depend on how your computer has been set up and how many like um, Photoshop files you have on your laptop. But the first one is simply just to find the replace sky actions.atn or whatever it's called .atn. Um, simply click on it, and then all you have to do is just double click, and then it will automatically load that into your Photoshop actions. In order to find those Photoshop actions, you simply can come up to Window and scroll down to Actions, or you can go ahead and press Alt Function 9, um, and then you just click on it, and there you go, it's placed it into your Actions folder. Now, we've got two here because um, I've already got it in my Photoshop Actions, but obviously if you keep double-clicking it, you're going to keep getting duplicates of the same one. Okay, so once it's in there, um, I'm just going to show you the second method of how you do this, um, and then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to show you guys um, what you'd want to do to use these actions or how you'd go ahead and use them. Okay, so if that method doesn't work, you will go have to go ahead and try the slightly more complicated method, um, but it doesn't take too long. So what you want to do first off is go to Window and then scroll down to Actions or click Alt F9. Once that's open, you want to come up to this um, menu bar here, click and then scroll down to Load Actions. Okay, so once you've loaded the actions up, it will take you to um, your file browser and you can go ahead and find the certain file that you want to add. So for example, this is the one we're going to add this time, it's called sharpenactions.atn. Simply click on it and then select open. And there we go, straight away it's just dropped it straight into your actions folder. So in many ways they're both pretty quick, but um, this one is the slightly more roundabout method of doing things. Okay, so those are the two methods of importing the actions into the Photoshop. It shouldn't take you more than 20 seconds to go ahead and do. But now I'm going to show you guys how you want to go ahead and use these actions. So the first thing you want to do is just find the action you want to use. For example, this one we're going to go ahead and use Sharpen. All you have to do now is just come down, come down and click the play button. Wait for that to load. And then what it's going to do is it's going to essentially play the action that you've downloaded. So this one um, is just a free one that we've got on our website. It's just going to increase the sharpness um, of the image. And you can go ahead and you can change the radius um, of the high pass that you've done to do this. Um, so say for example you want to keep it at that, you just click OK. And then it will go ahead and apply that to your image. Um, so you can see if we turn it off and turn it on, it's gone ahead and, and essentially sharpened the image. If you do want to go ahead and try and edit certain things, you can go ahead and click the drop down layer um, and you can go into certain different things here. So for example, high pass, that's the thing that popped up to start with. Um, so you can go ahead and double click on that um, and it will show you what radius you want to do it and you can change that. Um, or make is just going to be showing you the action that made this uh, mask. So you can get rid of that or go jump into any further edits. And I'll just show you slightly more complicated. If you wanted to do, do use, for example, one of our presets, you can click the drop down on the preset, and then it shows you all the adjustment layers that I've done on the camera raw filter. So if you click on camera raw filter, for example, and double click on it, it'll open up the camera raw filter with all the saved um, things that I've done on that particular edit. Obviously, it's not going to work on this photo, but that's how you can go ahead and use the actions um, just by double clicking on each section and going in and editing certain things. Okay, so then once you're done, then you've got your photo and you can go ahead and do with it what you will. Okay, so that's the end of the video, guys. I really hope that was helpful for a lot of you. Um, if you did enjoy that, don't forget, go ahead and click subscribe. And of course, don't forget, go and check out some of our Photoshop actions on our website down below. I'll put the links down below in the description. But thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Live long and prosper.